Hi, it's Corrine for the Wild Orchid Crafts Design Team, and today I want to share with you a finished wedding album that I did. I recently did another wedding album that you may have seen a few weeks back, and this one is a new one. It's actually for the same lady, and I used the Prima something blue collection and I also added a, a few other papers from another wedding collection so these are gorgeous papers and this album is about a seven almost an eight by eight actually so let me show you here it is a super chunky album the spine itself is four and a half and as you can see it is full of goodness so on the front here I have this it's pretty thick wooden Mr. and Mrs. I love it. I painted it black and then I also spray painted it black so it has a matte finish which turned out really pretty and I have some gorgeous wild roses and curly roses and hip rose buds and some of the leaves tucked back in here. I'll have all of the products used from Wild Orchid Crafts in the description box below and here's some of their gorgeous cotton trim lace trim. I also used some flat back pearls as you can see here. Some more of the flowers here and I added some of their flat back pearls in a few places. I think those are just so pretty. On the side here I used some black satin ribbon and some of this really pretty flower trim down the side. And then here is the back. I love this paper collection. And I used Laura Dennison's Stack the Deck binding system, and I also made the between the covers and the spine a little bit wider. I like to do that because the book lays perfectly flat, and it accommodates tons of photos in this album. So by it being a little bit looser on the binding, it gives it room to grow. So on the front here, I have this beautiful... Um, magnetic closure. It has Mr. and Mrs. as you can see. It says Blessed Beyond Measure and this is from the Always Do paper collection by Cartabella I believe. So it flips open here and there's room for more photos or journaling. Every single page is a pocket page and it has a pull-out mat, a large mat for more photos and I did a little heart for the little tab part so she can add lots of photos on this and I won't pull all these out but every single one has a pull out mat exact same and she can also place photos inside the pockets I wouldn't do too many because it'll get too full but she can do quite a few so I have some really pretty pink satin trim I added some of the 10 millimeter open roses in pink mist here and then as you can see I have some bling across the pocket and I love that this paper collection comes with lots of cut aparts journaling cards look how pretty that is I made this tag myself it says the best thing to hold on to in life is each other and I added a flourish down here and I did add a few hearts to make it dimensional I did that on the cameo. I added some of the sweetheart blossoms and open roses and then another large mat. Look how beautiful this paper is. So if she can stand it, she can cover that with a photo and put a photo on the back as well. I probably wouldn't be able to cover it. I would just have to put the photo on the back. The next page is a large frame that I cut from the cameo. I have this beautiful um, border sticker down the side. Let me see if I can get that closer for you to see. Of the pink flowers, it is so pretty. And then I added the flowers down here. These are curly wild roses, I believe. And then I have the white and the green um, leaves and also a pink mist flower. On this side here, this is beautiful. This is actually from the Cartabella Rustic Elegance Wedding Collection, and she can fill it out showing, you know, um, it's sort of like a little marriage certificate, a decorative marriage certificate. And then I have the flat back pearls here. There is a large tag that pulls out from the top for journaling or photos. I have a bow from the cameo cut out with a pearl. And then this opens up to um, be able to add more photos too. So you can get four more photos just inside of this and it has a magnetic closure. 
This side is a side pocket that I used my Spellbinders uh, edge dies. This is the A2 Bracket Borders 1. I got this from Cut at Home. These are fun to work with. And then another bow here with a flat back pearl. And then I made a journaling card. It says, Thankful for this life. That's an Allie Edwards stamp. And then some more of the cut aparts with a pretty paper clip. She can tuck photos in this pocket as well as this pocket. Here's some of the summer blooms and I have a rhinestone buckle with a large pearl, some flat back pearl, some trim here. And I cut this pocket again from the cameo. I designed that in the cameo. And then here I have a little booklet, Mr. and Mrs. And it opens up for some more cards that photos can be placed in these little pockets um, as well as on these journaling cards. And then here is a tag from the cameo as well. Use some seam binding. My goal when making these albums is to be able to accommodate lots and lots of photos. So on this side here, I have a scallop edge with some more of that beautiful cotton lace trim from Wild Orchid Crafts. I have a um, frame here that I cut also from a Spellbinders. It's the bracket frames. And I have some beautiful gardenias with the large rose uh, leaves and some hip rosebuds in there. Their gardenias are beautiful. I took one apart and so I, instead of having the stamen in there, I added the flat back pearl. And I cut her out a template for her photo that she can pull out and use this as a template. And it looks like it's a little stuck, there we go. So she can use that as a template, cut her photo out, and then tuck it right back in here. And it might be a little tight tucking it in, but it works perfect, you just kinda wanna there we go, lift it. And then if she wants, she can add a tiny bit of glue behind it once the photos and, and glue that down or leave it open. It looks good either way. On this side, I made a pocket and this beautiful quote, it says, always believe that something wonderful is about to happen. I added some liquid pearls around the entire edge and then three of the 10 millimeter open roses, again in pink mist from Wild Orchid Crafts. These are so so pretty, I love those. And then look at this paper, that is so beautiful. I have some of the tags, journaling cards from the collection here, I have one. And then these two I made on the cameo. This one says, and they lived happily ever after. Photo can be placed on the back and a little tag. I will put the um, design number for this bow. Again, I got that from the Silhouette Online store, so I'll put that in the description as well. On the side here, you may have seen this in my last album, I did half of a heart, I backed it on black paper and added the trim behind it, and I added one of these um, rose trim, I love it, it's the organza rose trimming to the, the heart here, and this flips open so she can add more photos, like two smaller photos, one big photo, um, or journaling. And here's some more of the beautiful cotton lace from Wild Orchid Crafts. I added some pink trim bling. And then a large photo can be placed here. On this side I have some more of that gorgeous lace trim. Something I printed out and designed in the cameo. It says a very special day and I added some flat back pearls to the pocket. She can add more photos. And here's one of the journaling cards. It says our day. This one says, all love stories are beautiful, but I like ours best. And then this one is, um, I put a flourish with the heart. That's a dimensional heart as well. On this side, I just left this blank. A photo can be placed either up in the corner or the entire page, whatever she'd like to do. And on this side is a waterfall, a bracket waterfall. So she can add photos to all of these here. And it has some pink seam binding, I, um, pink satin ribbon and white seam binding. And I added a, a little key charm here. On this side is a large photo mat. I have a scallop sticker border here. I have some more of that pink bling. I have a large gardenia from Wild Orchid Crafts and some of their white leaves along with a couple tulips. 
that paper is just gorgeous. And on this side, I did a little bit of seam binding with a couple hip rosebuds and a couple of the pink and baby green leaves. This I printed from the Cameo. It says on our special day. I have a couple photo mats here. This is the journaling card. It says say yes to the dress. This one is an Allie Edwards stamp. It says so completely grateful. And I did a bracket style pocket, again, using those um, border dies. On this side, I did a belly band with some of the beautiful lace on the side and a faceted button here with a bow. And she can slide pictures behind here. Here's a couple journaling cards. This one says honeymoon. And this one says so much to be thankful for. Again, another Allie Edwards stamp. On this side, I have a large scalloped envelope. This is a um, little metal heart. I have some bling here and some more of that scallop. So she can add anything in here she wants, receipts, whatever she'd like. I also have several journaling cards from the collection. And then here are two little photo mats. It says, Made My Heart Happy, Allie Edwards stamp. She can add photos to these as well. So those just slide in here. She can add photos in here as well. And it has a Velcro closure. And let me just get rid of these papers. I had these papers in here, my scraps, um, because the magnet was drying. On this side, I made a frame and it's open at the top with one of those acetate templates so she can pull it out and uh, cut it for her photo to fit in here. This is one of the organza rose trimmings. These are the gypsophilia flowers from Wild Orchid Crafts. Those are just so beautiful. And some of the hip rosebuds. But what I decided to do I, in order to get more photos is I made this a um, an accordion that has several magnets. So it's magnetized on every page, even on the back as well. When she adds her photos, it will hide those magnets. So they're, you know, sorry about that. So they're not an eyesore, but she can get another one, two, three, four, five, six photos just in this. So just this page alone, she'll be able to get seven photos. And then the back is a large frame that I bordered with some flatback pearls a chrysanthemum and two of the wild curly roses. So again, this album will hold tons of photos. So I hope you've enjoyed this project. Please check out the description box. I will list all the products used in this album today. If you have any questions, leave me a comment and thanks so much for watching. Please check out Wild Orchid Crafts website for all their amazing products and they have really great prices. The links will be in the description box. Thanks for watching.